Thank well, you. joining me now is Michael Whedon, who's the Deputy Chief Executive of the Birmingham-based... Well, the winners, then. I mean, we've talked about hotels. You mentioned the bunting. I mean, is it really as simple as jelly makers and <laughs> ice cream much? It's good to have you with us at the start of this special weekend. Whatever the economic concerns, there's no doubt people are determined to have a good time. Now, the future of Birmingham Children's Hospital is under the microscope as it marks its 150th anniversary today. The hospital provides specialist care to around a quarter of a million children each year. And 13-year-old Katie Burke from Birmingham is one of them. She was the world's youngest patient to have a pacemaker fitted. Laura May McMullen's been... A 22-year-old man is in a critical condition tonight with head injuries after being attacked outside a Birmingham mosque. A lorry driver from the Black Country has died this morning in a crash on the M5 near Gloucester. Country City Council has started legal action against the government over the future of one of its schools. It's calling for a judicial review because it believes the government is forcing Henley Green Primary to become an academy. Well, now, Spring Watch. The great thing about our annual extravaganza on the natural world is that it brings wildlife directly to you. But what about getting out into the fresh air to see it for yourself? Well, for people with mobility problems, it can involve plenty of research and forward planning. So when one of our viewers got in touch to say he'd done all that, and... Oh dear, we're having a few gremlins tonight. I'm sorry, <laughs> we are struggling. Anyway, let's have a look at tonight's main head. Lines. Reports of another massacre in Syria. This time it's thought 13... We're still struggling we're still to catch struggling up with Sarah and the weather forecast, weather. but can I just say, while we're talking about the Diamond mm. Jubilee weekend, and the weather's not great, it has to be said, mm. you've got a little bit going on where you live. Oh, awful lot going on in my village in South Watch. We've got, uh, as most places have, uh, Jubilee picnics. Um, we've got a torch, like a sort of um, flame of our own being carried up onto the highest point outside mm. the village. Yeah. Street parties galore. Rather lovely Everything. village. And I have to say, I went to a lovely celebration of the Jubilee this morning. Did you? Uh, I went to a school, uh, Clifton Primary in Balsall Heath mm -hmm. in Birmingham, where there were about 750 pupils, most of whom have English as their second language, but they were all celebrating opening of a new building, but also the Diamond Jubilee, and they were singing songs, and it was such a wonderful, wonderful display of sort of celebration. Kids really young, yeah. who I'm sure yeah. could barely appreciate what it was all about. Mm -hmm. It was lovely. And I was able to tell them, because I was invited to this, and it was lovely to be there, yes. to tell them and they couldn't believe that I could remember the death of the king and the start of Elizabeth's reign. I bet they reign. found that rather hard to believe. Yeah, and yeah. It, was, it was amazing, because <laughs> I do remember it, and also the fact that the first time I ever saw television was the Queen's coronation back in 1953. You're not that old. Uh, well, it's hard oh, to believe, you wouldn't I believe know, that, but it was. Uh, the first time I ever saw television. We didn't have one of our own. We yeah. went to a friend's house who had a television, and there were loads of us in their front room watching television. It was my first experience of it, way back in 1953, yeah. seeing the coronation, the Queen going through the streets of London, just as yeah. she will be this time, but yeah. now it's 60 years on. It's just an amazing memory. And I never thought that I'd end up working in television yeah. all these years yeah. on. And uh, I don't know whether these kids were nodding off when they were listening to me. They were all I'm singing sure very they happily and they were yeah. lovely coming out and chatting afterwards, you know. And their music yeah. teacher was playing the guitar. Out in the playground this was, outdoors. Thank goodness it so wasn't raining. So the question is, are you going to be having a party, jelly and ice cream? I'll be celebrating one way or the other. Something a little bit stronger than jelly and ice cream, I have to say. <laughs> but I'm so sorry that we can't bring the weather forecast, but it's a bit <laughs> average, I have to say, this weekend. A little bit damp, but anyway. Anyway, Expecting a little bit of rain. You'll catch up with it all on your local radio station. And we'll have more weekend. Diamond Jubilee Spirit on Monday's Midlands today. Nick's going to be live in Ulster, so look out South Warwickshire. From all of us here, though, on Midlands today, have a lovely Diamond Jubilee weekend. Bye bye. bye. bye.